I'm very grateful for all that I have been given and all that I have and how I'm able to share the abundance with other people it makes me very grateful. I was just getting out of the shower and I got a message saying, where do you want these fence posts? Some wonderful friends of ours have brought us some more building material for us to make more shelters for the animals. I'm so excited. Let's go see what they brought. We had these produce boxes that we saved for them, full of goodies um, that we've been passing out since COVID started, and they are super grateful for that. Got some more metal roofing. Boy, that's going to come in so handy, getting these animals set up. Some lumber, all the things we need to set up some better shelter for the animals for the winter. So. That's awesome. We're gonna be adding that to the pile we already have. This is kind of turned into our building material zone, if you can't tell. <laughs> Where you want wood going? Titus, you're being unbelievably well behaved. You must know they're dog people. Wow, they brought all of that metal roofing material, all these fence posts, all this welded wire, all this lumber corner fence posts and gate fence posts, regular fence posts. We are seriously, seriously in business now, you know. We're going to do so many awesome projects here. I am so grateful to have friends that are farmers too because farmers are some of the most generous hearts you'll ever encounter. They'll give you the shirt off their back. We were able to pass out 30 boxes yesterday of produce to various families in need and people who were just really excited to get some organic produce that they can use for their families this Thanksgiving week. I'm very grateful for all that I have been given and all that I have and how I'm able to share the abundance with other people. It makes me very grateful. Something else she brought me is this awesome drum carter for carding fiber alpaca fiber to be exact. She has alpacas. We are going to be getting the alpaca fiber from her and carting it, making it into roving, and hopefully at some point getting a spinning wheel so we can spin it into yarn. And I am so excited about that. So Ryan, what do you think of all that building material you just got? That's awesome. I can't wait to make some stuff with it and complete some of our projects. Yay! It's nice to have friends that'll help you out when you need it, isn't it? What are you girls doing? They're like, Daddy, give us some hay. He's filling up the water trough right now, girls. Those roosters look like they're going to jump in. Those roosters need to jump into my pot. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. This morning, I have a little bit more of a somber gratitude. I'm grateful that we were able to raise a turkey ourselves for our Thanksgiving dinner. And today, we have the never easy task of getting it ready for the plate. Ryan's done the first step and I'm off to do the rest. So, that we can enjoy and participate in the self-sufficiency, self-sustainable practices that we wish to promote and encourage others to do to help reduce the amount of animals that are being harvested from inhumane practices. We are choosing to do humane raising and harvesting of our own meat when possible. What are you thankful for? 
something for, for you. For me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. What else? For my friends and family. Oh, you're the sweetest boy ever. Are you and my cousins. Yeah. Are you looking forward to Thanksgiving? Yeah. What's your favorite part? When we get to eat the turkey. Yeah. What about you? What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my friends and family. Oh, that's sweet. Anything else? Uh, I don't think so. And what are you looking forward to for Thanksgiving? Mm, the wishbone. The wishbone. So you can make a wish. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. What about you, Ryan? What are you grateful for? I'm grateful that we have started to settle into this beautiful new, new farm. You say what you're thankful for? What are um, you thankful for, Odin? Food. The boy loves food. Honey, Daddy. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful for my beautiful family and for having just an awesome life. So we got a difficult task done today. Ryan got out on the tractor as well and did some more work, um, making some paths through the woods so that we can go out hiking. grateful for 99 cent pineapple. I'm going to turn all of these bad boys into some dehydrated pineapple and I'm going to plant all of the tops. Pineapple are bromeliads. So they make a really cool little house plant that also gives you fruit after a year or two. They say it takes 18 months to two years so we'll see. I'm definitely going to have to take them in in the winter but it'll be worth the experiment. I am so grateful for this beautiful gardening space that I have to work with. I haven't started planting yet. I will be putting in the garlic very soon. I keep saying I'm doing it this weekend. And then I get busy with other stuff. So, But the good thing is, is here in Georgia, it has been too hot really to plant much. So um, I'm thinking I'm, I had Ryan drive the tractor back over here before he went in the woods so that I could see where his edge would be so that he could continue to take his tractor in and out this way. So I'm going to start my edge here and plant from that edge on for my winter stuff. I'm also really grateful that we were able to get a nice load of hay. We got 10 bales of this Bermuda that has nothing wrong with it. Finally! And the goats are eating it. They like the alfalfa better, but it's much more expensive to buy alfalfa hay. And we're feeding a lot more hay through the winter. So we'll definitely stick with the Bermuda for now at the affordable prices. And as they get um, to the point where they're heavy in pregnancy or have kitted in our producing milk, we'll use more alfalfa at that point. Right now, um, we haven't had a whole lot of goats coming into heat, I guess because it's been so warm. So we have bred two or three, I think, but we have a couple more that we want to breed. So we're trying to get to that point. And most of all, I'd have to say that it would be wrong if I didn't say that I am grateful for you guys. I am grateful for those of you that have been here since the beginning who have stuck by our side through our hard times, times when we weren't posting, times where we were posting difficult things that we were going through. And you stuck by our side and you didn't give up on us. And now we've been able to come full circle and risen up out of the ashes and have become so much more healthy and happy and things are just doing so great for us. And I'm so grateful that I have you guys to share our journey with and for all of you that are new to our channel I am so grateful to have you along for the ride getting to see how it 
is to start a homestead from scratch. It's going to be an invaluable lesson for many of you. So I hope that we can teach you many things because this isn't the first time we've done this. <laughs> so we've got a lot of work ahead of us, a lot of fences to build, a lot of structures to build, gardens to build. But all along the way, we're going to take you with us and help share with you how we become more self-sustainable and filled with gratitude. For those of you that don't know, we have a Facebook group. It's called Wholesome Roots Farmstead Friends. Go ahead and request to join and I will approve it quickly. We also have a Facebook page, Wholesome Roots Passionate Plants. We also have an Instagram under Wholesome Roots, TikTok under Wholesome Roots. We have Pinterest under Wholesome Roots, but I don't use it that much. I've used it here and there. Um, we're on Steam It, but I haven't been over there in a long time. But we do have articles over there. We have a blog on our website, wholesomeroots.org. So there's many different ways that you can keep in touch with us and follow along. So I hope that you do.